very first Hotocon with Magus, uh -huh. and Krizzle sat down next to us. And in his hand, he had like uh, a carton of muffins. And it was like, it, it looked like it had, had six muffins in it, and there was four muffins in the cart. And I, I look over at him, and I, he's just, he's looking at me, and he's smiling real big. And I, I say, what kind of muffins you got, buddy? And he goes, special muffins. And I was like, oh, are you giving those out to your friends? He's like, no, they're all for me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I have played Krizzle online the last couple days, actually. And, uh, or I have in the in the past couple days. And his poison's legit. Oh, it's super legit. And poison is one of those characters that when the player behind her is on point, it is one of the most frustrating feelings. Is you have like, what do I do? You know. It's, a lot of her stuff is safe, and yep. then she has like this really just terrible uppercut that just annoys you. That's all it does. It doesn't do anything good. It, it always, doesn't get you off. It her. always seems to work for her when she needs it, though. Yeah, that's true. I guess. Yeah, when she needs it, it's there. You're looking at that thing like this is the crappiest. It yeah, only, was you have to literally be touching the top of her head for it to hit you. And not trade. Right. In your favor. Oh, that was sick. So that's like a grab slash hit. Yeah, so you have a follow-up button you can press, uh, and it will do the grab portion. The cool thing about it is you can just do it uh, without throwing another button out, and you can follow it up with a low jab or low forward to a combo after that. I haven't seen a lot of poisons do that yet, though. And it creates a lot of really cool frame trap opportunities for her because it's somewhat safe on frames as well. It's not completely safe, but uh, for the right range, you can pretty much just toss it out most of the time. And it really it looks a lot like her overhead, too. Yes. And her overhead is arguably one of the best overhead normals in the game. She can't combo after it, but it's just so is it, fast. Is it safe? It, uh, yes. That's always good to have, a safe overhead. Yeah, and it's so fast. Not a lot of characters even have overhead. She has one, and it's really good. Oh, nice jump in. And he's just mash throw, which is, it's pretty smart, actually. You're just going to grab him out of uh, overhead, and if he does a, a sweep, it'll probably grab him out of that, too, just because of how slow it is. Oh, he missed the standing, uh, standing forward. Nice punish. Combo. Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> just when you forget about it. Wow, she's got a three-frame crotch jab? Yes. Wow, that's good. Oh, just wake up a horde. All right, he's going to get a reset attempt here. It's really not, I don't want to say a reset attempt. There's really not much she can do. She's just going to go for a high-low poke. She oh, just crouch almost jab making this comeback. overhead. Wow. That was a smart call by Crack Bean. That was the best option for her to use in that situation. EX dash punch was pretty much going to beat everything that she was going to throw Yeah. Although it might have lost to her grab, her, that grab special attack. Uh, so. Kiss by Goss is, I think, what it's called. And, uh, yeah, the EX version of it is, has armor break. Uh, Krizzle did not have any beer at the time. So. Oh, okay. All right. Krizzle doing a good job. I see a lot of poisons mixing up just her regular stuff with her EX, EX Fireball because it's so quick. That's the thing about the EX Fireball. It's very fast. Most poisons are going to use either that one, the Fierce Fireball, or the Light Fireball. The medium Fireball, not too much. Nice and the EX up. Fireball, it's just like Guile. You know, you throw out the EX version sometimes because it's so fast. Starts up so fast, travels so fast. People try to get in the habit of focusing your fireballs and catch it with it a lot. Go forward into EX Rekka. EX just by God's completely safe. You just saw it there. Ooh, just jump throw set up very dirty. And what's great? So, what's so tough about her is that uh, that fierce fireball is actually uh, I think zero frames on lock. So she can come up and just mess with you. Yeah, her corner pressure is really legit. Yeah. But she's got to get there first. I feel like her fireballs just don't do a good job of doing that. Like she has that one which is great close up but even her heavy one it's like okay. And her anti-airs aren't super solid. No, that's her biggest weakness, and uh, most poses, most poses players will tell you that. Her biggest weakness is anti-airs. Uh, she, she's very uh, Chun Li-ish in that regard. She, uh, most of her anti-air options are going to be pokes, and it's going to be a specific poke for the angle and range of the jump in. So you're going to have to know which one to use. Ah. Uh, 
Danny Fierce Punch reset. That was very nice for Chisel. Nice punish. Wow. Right now. This is where Balrog shines yeah, in that footsie game. Yeah, I was about to say, Crackling's playing really nice footsies right now. Crackling has always had really good footsies. Yeah. This guy's been playing Balrog since day one of Mela. Yep, and he really hasn't strayed too far away from Balrog either. Uh, he messed around with Dudley for a little bit, but for the most part, yeah, just pretty much Balrog. And right now, not trying oh. to get too fancy. Just holding down back, protecting his life lead a little bit. Third time we've seen in this round, the low roundhouse from Balrog. And now he's got Crystal double guessing himself. He's able to get a walk up throw off of it. She's jumping himself out of the corner. Oh. Wow. That does a lot of damage, too. Well, the EX version automatically goes into the throw. That's the difference between the EX. Oh, okay. And the EX version also armor breaks. But he doesn't have to uh, He doesn't have to press the button on reaction to go into the throw with the EX version. It just does it. Poison every day is ab day in the gym. Not an eight pack. Wow. Ab day and leg day. Wow, just wake up throw? Like that? With poison? I mean, he had no bar to really get any kind of wake up. Sometimes the silly options are the ones that work out the best for you. Nice. I see Krizzle doing a little bit more down back than he was before, because I don't think he wants to eat any more of those crouching roundhouses from crack. Oh, nice. and that sucks. Faded that out perfectly. In the okay. corner, if oh. he had Peter, he was going to be able to do Ultra. Uh, but without wow. Peter, his best option is uh, another set of Rekkas. And Crack Bean, I felt like he just went for... If I block a random DP, I'm going to get a full Ultra and take this round. And if I get thrown, then you know what? Yeah, oh, well. Round. Yeah. yeah. And that's honestly, that's the smartest, the smartest play on this card. And he's got full bar. What? Yeah. First time I've seen that. I think it's counter hit only. Nice. You see Krizzle slowly shift his game plan here away from being so aggressive in the first and second matches. Uh, here in this last round of the second match, much more defensive play and it's paying dividends for him. He exits into the corner, going to go another Rekka set. He elects not to go for the third hit because it creates a different situation on frames which allows him for different setups in the corner. If he goes for the third hit, he gets a low knockdown on Balrog and Balrog gets up faster. I'm surprised there wasn't a wake up DP right there. And Balrog, not the best character to make a comeback, so it's pretty hopeless for Crafty. Yeah. I mean, one headbutt into an Ultra. There we go. Gets a super. He definitely did not want that. Well, I mean, it's the last round. He doesn't really have. Can't take Ooh, it with you. He's dead! Sick punish. Wow. I mean, any character can come back, obviously, in a game where you get to have a huge combo based off the fact you took a bunch of damage. I was not you just expecting have to be that patient. at all. And that's exactly how Crackman played out that round. It's super patient. Think he's going to Viper? He might be. The thing about these last minute adjustments is they very rarely pay off. Like, Crystal's now got to win three games in a row with Viper, and he's been playing. Uh, poison for the last two matches, so his head is still in that poison space, and he has to make a very quick adjustment to not only what he's been doing to lose specifically versus Crack Bean, but also to playing a whole different character. Arguably, you know, his best character, still. That being said, so far, Viper is the most autopilot character in the entire game. Well, once you get, yeah. Once you get going, you really... You really don't need to know how to play against the character <laughs> you're playing against. You can kind of just much. do whatever you want. Yeah. Who needs to know how to put these or... And, yeah, just, yeah, just, just as long stuff. as his execution is on point, right, just that's it. Stuff. Oh, I should have... Wake up it. safe? No. Do a reversal. No, yeah. Time. Who cares, right? Too far away for footsies. Just super jump in. Or crazy, in. crazy bird kicks. Who cares? And Crack Fiend can play crazy, too, because he's got two two games head. And he can just, you know, random headbutts. 
rain of ultras to just get that round and then kind of just put the fear in Grizzle that he might lose that game. It can be hard to punish a whiff EX Thunder Knuckle from uh, Viper. Yeah. Crack me just off the for a standing roundhouse, which was very smart. Just get whatever damage you can. Grizzle looking strong with Viper. Well, he knows the match. I think it's. I, I wanted to play it, you know, he's like, I want to play Poison, but I want to win. Well, that's what I was talking earlier, you know, you're gonna. I think you're gonna see most players sticking with their their main characters. Although, Poodle Man's Capric is unreal, dude. Yeah, well, he's really only been playing that character, and for the most part, he's been playing it against, uh. basically Julio. <laughs> because that's. and he lost! at uh, Foundry yesterday against Julio using Honda. So... Well, he just 3-0'd F-Champ, so... Yeah. Anyway, we got Viper Balrog action here. Nice. Ah. You know what? Crack Bean did Could not be worse. want Super there. He did not want Super. He wanted Ultra. He wanted to save the Super for the last round. He got Super instead of Ultra, and, and you can see the camera's not on the player right now, but he... He slumped forward, he made a scrunched up face. At the bare minimum, he got the round. Well, I mean, yeah. It's, it's hard it could to have been on. worse. But it's a very disadvantaged position for him because meter is so crucial in a fight against Viper. He's got to wow. get those Wow, and I was just about to say one more read. Oh, man. Wow. Wow, crack feed. That was pretty godlike. Super awesome. 